I'm very pleased to welcome back to the program James Gavin, who has just authored a book, uh, what I think will be the definitive book on George Michael. Uh, and you come at this uh, with, a, with a, a career of writing some very interesting books. Peggy Lee, one of the topics of your uh, previous books. Also, Lena Horn. So tell me how you decided to tackle George Michael. Patrick, nothing captivates me more than telling the stories of people who live turbulent, troubled lives and turn it into beautiful music. People are asking me, why George Michael after having done Chet Baker, Peggy Lee and Lena Horne? But I truly believe that George is a great singer in that same stratosphere. He was a pop singer. He was not a nuanced cabaret singer like Peggy Lee or an improvisatory a jazz singer like Chet Baker, but George Michael had a gorgeous, God-given, uh, beautiful, burnished musical, impeccably in tune, emotive sound that touched people's hearts. The story, however, that is tied to that music making is so tumultuous that he can really give Chet Baker a run for his money. Well, you do impeccable research, and uh, I'm really excited about this book and i know that you are as well and i think we're all excited about the fact that you will be here in palm springs on the 16th july 16th you're going to be doing a book signing starting at noon at just fabulous uh which is exactly what it says it's a fabulous bookstore uh but it is also a great place authors frequently come here uh and i think that george michael is going to be an extremely popular subject uh so I suspect you've got a, a big seller on your hands here. Patrick, I have never experienced so much worldwide interest in this book as or for any of my books. Peggy Lee, Chad and Lena, as we mentioned, these people are legends, but George Michael was and is a worldwide superstar. There is not a country in the world where he is not beloved. He led the shortest life of anyone that I've written about. He expired on Christmas Day of 2016 at the age of 53. And yet his story is an epic story about, um, about the, the price of superstardom and about the last phase of record company sovereignty where by big record companies controlled your entire success and, and your career and your career choices. Everything hinged on that. And it's a story about homophobia in the music business and in the world in George's era, which was principally the 80s and the 90s when he was having his great success. And the reason this book took me four years to write is that once I dug into it, I realized that I was telling another epic panoramic story about the music business and about a lot more than that. Well, no doubt. The, it is a multi-layered story. Uh, he is the most contemporary of the artists that you've written about. Uh, and it's not, he's not just a legend or a memory. He is someone that we feel very in touch with because I grew up with his music. Many of us did. Uh, I read a recent uh, publication. It was a letter that Frank Sinatra wrote to George Michael, uh, which I found very interesting. Frank himself, obviously a very tumultuous life and, an, and a very interesting career. I thought it was interesting that a legend like Frank would reach out to George Michael and it was an interesting letter because it was a bit reassuring and, and a bit kind of bucket up, son. So, I, and I, I'm sure that you touch on that in the book. Uh, I'm excited I, to have you in town. Uh, me too, Patrick. Thank you so much. That Sinatra story is told in detail in my book. I can't say with 100% certainty that Frank sat down at the typewriter and wrote that letter, but it sure sounds like him. And that letter was a fatherly rebuke to George Michael, who at that time was doing a lot of complaining about the troubles of being a big star. And Frank wasn't having any of it. He was not. And uh, folks, if you want to know more about that story, and it's a really interesting connection between Palm Springs and George Michael, of course, Sinatra, Palm Springs royalty. Uh, come out to Just Fabulous on Saturday, July 16th at noon. Meet James, get this great book and uh, get an autographed copy. And James, I look forward to seeing you in person when you get here into town. It's been too long, Patrick. Thank you so much for having me.